Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Welcome to another declutter video. And in today's video, I'm going to be just going through, as the name would suggest, and showing you what I'm going to declutter and why. Just running through, I would say maybe like 10 to 15-ish products somewhere in there. For these videos, I do obviously do them a little bit different than a lot of other people. I know that for some declutters, people show just their hands. Some show just their makeup drawer. But I found that on this channel, you guys and myself prefer to do them this way, where I feel like I can actually talk to you and I can, you know, obviously look at you. We can have more of a conversation. And uh, I just, I don't know, I prefer it that way. So that's how we do it. You guys like it. And I also want to mention this because I've had questions in the past, people asking me, you know, Paige, if you still like this item or that item, why are you decluttering it? Because, because I know everybody does their declutters differently. But for me, when I declutter stuff, I'm not always only decluttering things that I don't like. Um, in some cases, like I'm going to actually mention one today, in some cases, there are things that I'm getting rid of just because I already know and I've actually spoken to someone that I know they would really enjoy this specific product. And so um, I want to obviously pass it on to them because in, you know, this case, either I won't use it up or um, I know like maybe I like it, but they would really, really love it. And it would like make a huge difference to their makeup routine. So I would rather it go to a home where it can be like the most appreciated and the most loved. And I just wanted to mention that because like I said before, I've had a lot of questions from there. There's not a ton of hoopla surrounding these videos. Like what are you getting rid of and why? So if you like this, if you like the sound of what we got going on, hang tight. We're going to get into it in just a second. Don't skip ahead. Okay. It's very hurtful because uh, I just want to give my spiel. Okay. Really quickly. If you are new, hello, I upload three new videos a week. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. My videos go up typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around like seven, seven 30 ish AM my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So they're bright early morning uploads. And then I also post a ton over on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers. And like I said, I upload a ton of content both to the IG stories, like an everyday story thing. I check in with you guys. We do PR unboxings. We take polls. We sing. We dance. It's, it's a whole thing. And like I said, too, I do post a ton in the feed. You've got uh, makeup content, IGTV, reels. There is uh, plus size fashion, inspo, stuff like that as well. So yeah, just make sure you're following me over there. Again, everything will be linked down below. I would really, really appreciate it. And from there, let's go ahead and let's get into my first product. And the first one we actually have was sent to me in PR not too long ago. It's a newer product from Physicians Formula. This is their matte butter bronzer. And I'm getting rid of this one because even though I do really enjoy the texture of it, it's very, very lightweight. I have a really hard time with the smell for some reason. And I don't know if it's just like me being overly sensitive. I'm not, I'm not really sure what it is, but I find that every time I apply this, I end up having, <laughs> this sounds really weird, but I have like this odd like tickle up in my upper sinuses. And I think that this might just be a me issue. And of course, if you've tried it, you can let me know down below. But uh, for some reason, the smell of it just tends to like, I need to close it. It just tends to kind of linger like up in my nostrils. It lingers like even throughout the day on my face, I can smell it. And sometimes like I know, you know, obviously certain smells bother certain people, but it might just be whatever's in here that my body or my nose doesn't jive with. But uh, the actual texture of the bronzer is really nice. I will say the color of it does come off a little bit more orange on my skin tone than I liked, but it was still workable. Like for the, the deciding factor, 100% for me is the smell because I'd be totally okay okay making this work if it wasn't for that, but the smell is just like too much for me on some kind of weird level that my nose just does not like. So unfortunately for me, I do have to send it on its way, which I'm super bummed about, but I'm really excited too because the person it's going to is really excited to get to test it because it's the newer bronzer. And uh, so, you know, if nothing else, that at least makes me happy. All right, so next up, I'm really bummed because I love this palette. This is from Pixie and this is their Sugar Blossom palette. And this has such a beautiful formula. The blush is amazing. It buffs into the skin. These highlights I actually swatched them already. They are so freaking gorgeous, but uh, I'm decluttering it because for me on my skin tone, both of these shades of highlighter are too deep and I can't like, I can't use them. I can't mix them with each other. They just don't work. And this one's actually going to a friend of mine. Uh, I think she saw me use it I out on Instagram. If I don't miss my guess, I did like a reel with it. And um, she mentioned that she really liked it and her skin tone is deeper than mine. So I think that she's actually going to get a good, like a good amount of use out of it. The highlights will work really well, be super beautiful. And uh, which is great for me because I just don't want it to go to waste. Like the packaging is great. The quality is definitely there. And this mirror is gorgeous. So I, I definitely don't want to see it just, you know, get shoved in my vanity when it can go to good use. All right. Now, next up, this is the product that I was actually talking about at the start of the video when I mentioned that, um, you know, just because I'm getting rid of something doesn't mean I don't like it. And that would be these drops. These are the Rodial, Rod Rodial, okay, um, Soft Focus Glow Drops. And I actually got these in a boxy charm, I would say, what was this? Maybe six months ago or so. And these drops are actually, 
actually really beautiful. This is their Illuminating Ultimate Glow Primer. And you put this on under foundation and it gives you such a gorgeous light kind of glowy, like more of a lit from within kind of um, feel on your skin. It's definitely not like that overbearing, you know, glowy, like where it looks like you smeared highlight. It's not that kind of a primer. It soaks into your skin and I don't know if you'll really be able to see it on camera because again, it's, you know, it looks like it's midnight here. Um, but with this one, it just soaks into your skin so beautifully. It leaves such a nice silky texture and I just love the overall look and feel of it. But with this one, I'm decluttering it because A, I know I can't get like a full use out of the product. Like I, I don't use, you know, this type of a primer every day. I can only use it for a couple of months during the winter because I'm more combo leaning oily and something like this during the summer would be a disaster. And this one I'm actually um, sending to a friend of mine that has more dry skin and I'm sending it to her because I know that she's really going to like it and she can use it every day. Whereas someone like me, I can only use this on like my drier winter days, which sucks because obviously I don't want the bottle to go bad. I don't want it to go to waste. So I would rather it go to someone that can really like get some use out of it because it actually is really beautiful. The way it looks over the skin, it has a nice like soft focus as the name would suggest, you know, kind of feature to it and it's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to send it to her and hopefully she can enjoy it. All right. So next up, I'm getting rid of this bronzer from Koki Cosmetics. This is their Tuscan Sunshine Radiant Bronzer in the shade 01 Sweet Honey. And I'm getting rid of this because not only do I not love like the color of it on my skin tone, like it did tends to pull a little bit more of like a jaundice -y yellow kind of undertone, but I'm also getting rid of it because as I go to apply this on my skin, and I've had this issue from the first moment I used it, I have such a hard time getting this bronzer to build up. Like it just, it tends to blend away to absolutely nothing. So with this one, I actually find that as I build it, you know, to try to get that color, um, which takes forever and annoys me on that level. But then as I'm building it, I get that color. I still don't love the undertone and like the cast that it gives my skin. Now I will say to the plus of it, okay, the packaging of this is gorgeous. It has a nice little mirror in here and I really do like the texture. I just wish that, uh, I just wish that it built on itself, which sometimes things don't build as well when they have more of like a micro fine type situation going on. So maybe that's what this is. But uh, yeah, for me, I got to pass it along because it drives me crazy. So next up, I'm actually passing along this e.l.f. kit. Now this one is, it doesn't have like a title on it. I think it was from a kit or something that I purchased a while ago. And I'm passing this one on because as much as I actually enjoy some of the shades in here, like the blush right here, this blush and this blush, they're all really beautiful. And I actually can use this bronzer. I just don't find that the other colors in here really flatter me enough. Like they don't really work with my skin tone. They don't blend as well. And the highlight itself is very, very chunky for my liking. I like to have a nice smooth highlight. Um, who smooth highlight. Did you guys hear that? Of course you heard it. Okay. You have ears. So obviously the shimmers though, not my favorite. And then for the couple of blushes that I like in here, um, I, you know, they are good and I like them, but I'm such a blush fiend that I have like a bajillion blushes and there's just no point in me holding on to this whole palette when I have very similar shades all over the place. And uh, this one could just get put to use somewhere else. So from there, I'm also decluttering this from Jouer. This is their lip gloss in the shade Pearl, which actually pause. I'm also wearing the Jouer, um, what is it? Like their sweet cheek face palette. I just got done filming a video testing new makeup, which I'll link up here. And in that video, I also pulled a couple of old products, that face palette being one of them. And uh, I just mentioned it, you know, just in case you're looking at me and you're like, damn, what's she wearing? What's going on? I like it. I want to know. Um, obviously I'll have the makeup listed down below, but if you want to check it out, see what my thoughts and opinions are on the products, make sure you check out, uh, I think it was Monday's video because that's where the info is. Anyways, this gloss, I am decluttering it because even though I don't have an issue with like the formula of the gloss, I wanted to pass this along because I don't get use out of it. It has more of like a iridescent purple. I don't know if you can really see it right there, but it's a very, very iridescent, um, purpley sheen suspended in like a white, uh, a white base. And this isn't the type of gloss, like color or undertone or really, really anything that I reach for. I figured I would pass it on to a young lady that, um, will absolutely love it. She's going to love the color, the tone and all of that. And, uh, yeah, she'll just get more enjoyment than me out of it. Now, next up, I'm also sending that same girl, this Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask. I went ahead and swatched it right here. It's in the color Grapefruit. And I'm sending this one because I really just don't like it. Like the texture of it on my lips for a lip mask is way too heavy. And I don't find that it gives me much, um, like much hydration or really anything of substance on my lips. It just really feels like a thick, goopy mask for the entire time it's there that eventually gets goopy and dries down and I have to wipe it off anyways. And uh, so yeah, for me, it just doesn't work as a lip mask. It doesn't work as a hydrator, but 
but um, she'll probably use this as like a cute little tinted chapstick, you know, moment, and it'll be great for her. But for me, it's just driving, it just drives me crazy. I've tried using it multiple times, and I've even tried using it when I like sit down to film a video, I sit down to get ready, and every single time I'm just like, uh, like I just I can't I cannot stand it. It's just too thick for me. Uh, so she got to go. All right now I'm also decluttering this foundation. This is the J Cat Skin Insurance Max Coverage Silky Foundation. <sighs> what a mouthful! And uh, this I have talked about multiple times. I did a review and I think I even put this in a fails video, which I'm getting rid of it because truthfully uh, this is one of the worst foundations I have ever tested in my entire life. I hate the texture. It is thick. It is so. Oh, it's just so overbearing. The car the coverage is actually garbage. And I have tried so many times and like prayed that that was not the case. Like like tried my damnedest to make this work because I really wanted to love it. But in the end, it is just a thick, cocky ass foundation. And I'm saying cock, okay? Like C-A-U-L-K, cock, right? Like cock, like what you cock a shower with. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't like it. It feels like plaster Paris on my face. And that's not really, that's not really my jam. I'm not really into that. So I just, I don't want to look at it anymore. Ergo, I'm decluttering it. I'm also decluttering cluttering this little guy from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Setting Spray, and I'm getting rid of this because truthfully, it just doesn't do much of anything on my skin. Like, I tend to be the person when it comes to setting sprays that if I pick it up, I need it to have a purpose, you know, because I only, I only use two setting sprays, which I know for a lot of people probably seems like a lot of setting spray, but I'm, I'm very particular with what I use and why. Like, for example, every single day I go in with my Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. Why? Because it presses everything together. It gives everything a nice evened out kind of like like very smooth coating to my skin. It gives a hit of hydration but not too much and it just it has so many purposes that I fulfill in one setting spray. Same with the um, Hourglass setting spray. This is their soft focus veil setting spray. It's absolutely beautiful. It gives a nice blurring effect, a light amount of hydration and the main common thread here between the two being that they what? They fulfill a purpose okay and this one does not do that. Like I, I've tried it so many times and I can't figure out for the life of me what is it supposed to do? Does it just set? Make your face wet and then kind of kind of dry down and go away. Uh, yeah, pretty much because it definitely doesn't make you dewy. It doesn't make you matte or poreless or re really anything aside from that. Um, so I'm decluttering it because I, truthfully, it just it doesn't do nothing for me. Like it, I, I don't even know what it's supposed to do. It, it doesn't say. It just says makeup mist and set. Well, it does mist. Um, and then, then that's about where it stops. So I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> also from there, I'm decluttering this Flower Beauty Concealer. This is their Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I talked about this in what was that video? It was, oh, makeup that I love that doesn't love me back. I'll link it up here if you missed it. Um, and basically, I'm decluttering this one because this concealer, no matter how hard I try, it does not work on my under eyes. It just, it, it has such a beautiful look to it. Like when you, when you are uh, blending it out, the coverage is gorgeous. The texture is so nice and creamy and it's gorgeous, okay? It is a gorgeous looking concealer. But for some reason on my skin with my under eye bags, my texture, my crevasses, it just does not work. It's settles in. I can't set it. I can't blend it out. Even when I try to use this on the rest of my face, like redness, hyperpigmentation, acne, over the cheek, stuff like that, um, I still can't use it because it's so, like, thick and it has such a such a hydrated quality to it that it doesn't really want to set down or jive with my other foundations. So I figured I would, uh, you know, just kind of pass it along to somebody that will get use out of it. Someone that maybe doesn't, uh, doesn't have to set their face. Maybe they have drier skin or maybe they'll just use such a teeny amount of it, like, as a light amount of coverage that it won't matter for them but either way for me it's gotta go because I I'm, I can't look at it anymore like it's it actually breaks my heart because I love it I love the texture I love the look I love the blend but I just can't love it past that like I can't love it past the initial first and second date and that's really starting to bother me so I, I just can't, I don't want to look at it anymore it's too sad so next up I'm also getting rid of this Tarte little what is this their Shape Tape Glow Wand in the shade Sunbeam and I'm getting rid of this because as much as I want to love it like uh, uh, let me re let me rephrase as much as I understand the concept of this, like how it's supposed to be this nice kind of glowy-esque product. You can put it on your bare skin for a, you know, just lit, lit from within glow. You can tap it on over foundation, again, for a nice little glinty glow, and all of that's great. For me, the reason I'm getting rid of this is just because on my skin, um, which actually, that has a really nice glow to it. Uh, the, the glow, by the way, this right here is what always ropes me in. I have tried to declutter this like four other times, and I'm just always like, ooh, I swatch it, and I'm just like, oh my god, it's pretty, it's nice, it has this little glowy situation. Maybe I shouldn't, and every time it sneaks its way back into my drawer. But not today, boo-boo. Not, not today, honey little boo-boo child. Uh, because today you're going in the box. But this one... 
it's a really hard balance for me because on my skin, because I have a combo leaning oily, I do have to set my face with powder. And a product like this, I think would work better on somebody, which is where I'm sending it, someone with drier skin, um, because it does have such a nice glowy property to it. But once I set it or I mix it with powder, like it completely goes away because it's such a light glow, which for me means that if I keep this and if I use it, it's only on a no makeup makeup day. And truthfully, when I wear a no makeup day, I either truly have on no makeup or I want like a little bit more of a glowy kind of CC cream vibe, which I still then have to set <laughs> with a powder, ergo rendering this useless once more. So really, I just want this to go to somebody that uh, can actually enjoy it for what it is, as opposed to me who's trying to make it into something that it's definitely not. And I think that, uh, yeah, I actually have the perfect person in mind that I think will really enjoy it. It'll be a nice like added step to their routine where, you know, it adds not a lot of time, but a little bit of glow, makes them just look a little bit more, um, a little bit more glowy in the skin department. And I think they're really going to like it. Okay. So my final product of the night is actually this little guy right here from XX Revolution or Makeup Revolution, if in you will. And this is their duochrome or multi-chrome, whatever liquid shadow in the shade Evoke. And I'm getting rid of this because it makes me violently upset. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but this freaking shade, like when you see it, okay, it looks absolutely gorgeous. You're like, Ooh, ah, green duochrome. So pretty. And it gives you the vibe right here. This is the uh, Natasha Denona. What is this? This is in the shade Scarab. Okay. When you look at the two next to each other, you're kind of like, Ooh, similar, pretty, love it. Don't even think about it. Okay. This one from Denona, actually beautiful, actually a duochrome. This one from XX Revol XX Triple X, whatever the revolution shit, this one, not a duochrome, even the slightest. Okay. It is a thin liquid green shadow that settles into your eyelids. It's creasy. It's nasty. I think the best way I could put this is that it's like 10% green and 90% water because when you wipe it away, it just goes, there's nothing left and it's ugly versus again, let me give you a little bit of something to compare it to here. The Natasha Denona Scarab shade. Okay. This one actually has beauty and body and it shifts color and it's gorgeous. And then look at this stagnant little piece of crap next to it. Oh God, it's just not even the best. You know what really gets me is that they could have done this so good. I just, I just keep adding more and swatching it in the hopes it'll change. And uh, there's nothing about this product that's good. Like it, it has no staying power. The color is awful. It's not a duochrome. It's thin, it's watery, it's awful. And I just, I, it makes me, it makes me uh, next level violent. So I'm going to get rid of it so I don't have to look at it anymore. But you guys, that is it for the whole video. I'm, I'm gonna like try to snap back to reality, snap back away from the anger page, walk away from the liquid supposedly duochrome. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to leave me all of your thoughts down below um, on any of these products. Have you tried them? Do you like them? Which actually I should mention this. It's normally a disclaimer I do at the beginning, but just because I don't like something and you do or vice versa, that doesn't necessarily make the product bad. So please, you know, again, if you love it, keep using it. I don't ever want anybody to throw away or hate something or, you know, think differently about their own product that they love just because I don't like it. Um, I just, these are just, you know, my opinions, what doesn't, doesn't work for me. So always keep that in mind. But while you're keeping that in mind, just make sure you drop me those comments down below um, on the makeup. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you like the video? Just, you know, all your thoughts and opinions, drop it down below. And of course, like I said at the start of the video, you guys can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below, um, especially Instagram. Okay. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you want to check that out, I would actually extra greatly appreciate it. But you guys, that is officially it. I thank you all again so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your time here and I hope that you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, if anybody needs me, I'll be sitting in this chair. Yo, if I could reach the light, I would just click the light off and just like take a nap for a little while. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Bow, bow, bow. Ugh. Oh my god. That was like punishment for something I must have done in a past life. That tasted damn nasty. That last little swig right there, it's basically water with a pink, a Diet Coke in it. Pfft. Highly do not recommend. Ugh.